Hey, Holy Rockettes, Holy Rockers, Instagrammers, FBZ Babies. What's up? This is Holy Rocker in the building, in the house, in the study, with the window open, sunlight, regular light, natural light. Why shine is light. <laughs> Y'all, what's going on? What's up? What's happening? What's happening? You're good for nothing And I ain't gonna cry over you Oh, you hurt me in ways But those days are through Learn how to push through the pain So, I'm still waiting for her and I wanted to get on here and tell some more of my business. Y'all, y'all gonna think this is hilarious. I love this. I love Kiara. Okay, so. So, uh, oh, have y'all went to see Black N Oh, no, it doesn't come out until tomorrow, I think. Well, make sure you all go see it. Like, it's really good. And, and make sure you all come and see The Laundromat, which is written, I believe it's written by Holly Spence. That will be like in June, I believe. I will be in this play. Um, so, y'all remember my video called Relations Slipped? Um, y'all know I tell my business. I tell uh, realities. I tell about things that happen in my life and how the Lord ministers to me. And when he ministers to me, it allows me to minister to you all. You know, whether male or female, everyone can learn from a male or female about a male or female. Especially when the Lord has said it. And God's word is not strictly for one sex. It's for the whole human race. So, that is my jam. Magnified by Marvin Sapp. So anyway, so I'm minding my business. Okay, first of all, you all know about the relation slip video. I had did that back in May, maybe. So I was talking about this dude that, um, you know, I was liking. He was liking me, and he just lacked in communication skills and, you know, keeping his word. So, um, like in September, me and my sissy pool, we went on like a ministry trip my um god baby she had her peculiar praise weekend so um my sissy poo was down there to teach a workshop on worship which she did excellent and um it was some other people down there they had dancers i believe they had the dude named james i think was his name he did something um i can't remember the other people but there's video up of it and then i was like the host so um so I had texted the dude and I said, well, we were, you know, I forgave him again. Like I've been forgiving this dude all year. So, um, you know, we were still friends. We still liked each other. So, you know, I gave him another chance, like at, in friendship. And I knew he liked me for more and I liked him for more. But, you know, we were just going to see where we were going to go with this friendship thing. So, of course, you know, I forget, I forgave like Jesus does, you know, not holding anything against them, just, you know, starting afresh, starting anew. So, of course, it goes back into the ignoring the text and ignoring the um, calls and all that, right? So, um, you know, I asked my God brother, Smokey, I'm like, Smokey, what does this mean? <coughs> And then I asked one of my other brothers, Jarvis. I'm like, Jarvis, what does this mean? And both of them was telling me, like, he got another woman on the side. And I'm like, nah, he don't seem like that. He ain't that type. Because he, you know, he's a cool guy. He seemed like a real sweet dude. And um, they was like, he got another woman on the side. I'm like, no, he don't. I don't believe that. Of course, I didn't believe it. Why didn't I believe it? So... Like, this is September, like, um, I forget when she had it, but it was two weeks before I was texting and calling him, like, maybe, maybe for one or two days, and he didn't respond back, so I'm like, okay, here we go with this again, so I, you know, just didn't respond, so I'm like, we about to come down to your neck of the woods, and I, you know, text him this, then he want to text back, like, oh, what, what do you mean, okay, so, so, um, 
uh, I think another two weeks or something had went by. I still haven't heard from him. So I sent him a text and I said, you know what? I'm not going to do this again. This is stupid. Um, you're not even a good friend. You're not even a decent friend. Like an associate, I would get more communication from them than you. So I sent him a text and I said, you know, I hope your sister is doing well because the sister wasn't, you know, she was sick. And then I said, um, I'm out. Like, you know, forget it because this has been a pattern since last December. So, um, I get a text yesterday morning. Like, I didn't even hear a happy birthday from him. He didn't ask about the conference. Like, nothing. And then he got into a relationship with this girl around my birthday. Oh, dang, I done skipped the story. Anyway. So, yes, he's in a relationship. So, now, um, and I kind of see why I was being ignored. and Because I, I guess he was talking to her, which my brothers told me, but I didn't listen. So, next time I'll listen. Well, next time it's not going to happen, huh? It almost always be it tough. <laughs> so, um, speed it up. Uh, yesterday morning. I get a text from him like, I miss you, I miss talking to you. What? Like, what? I mean, I'm just, what? <laughs> I'm confused. It's been two months since you said anything to me and now I guess, honey, I, I just don't know the mind of this dude. And, um... You know, he went through all of this. I miss you. I miss talking to you. I want to explain. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you again. Blah, blah, blah. All this bull crap. The same old stuff that I've been hearing all year long. And when I told him before that I'm out, I meant that I'm out. You know, there's no reason for you to contact me. You know, if we have a conference or a council or something like that, if you come, I'll see you there. And I'll surely say, hey, how are you? Don't come to me for a handshake or a hug because it's not that type of party. But hey, how you doing all right? Good. Your family good? All right. Your, your, your brother, sister's there? All right. Cool. Okay, I'll see you. You coming to church tonight? Okay, I'll see you tonight. That's all I got for you, bruh. That's all you're going to get. So he texted me, you know, I miss you and I want to talk to you. And he telling me his personal business. I'm like, whoa, hold up. You have a girlfriend now. I need you to go talk to her. Does, does she know that you're talking to me? Um, does she know that you're texting me? Like, there's no reason for us to be in contact when I've tried to contact you before. And I've tried to, like, talk to you before, but you didn't want to respond back to me. You ignored me. So, like, and then in the midst of the text, because I'm just, I'm just confused as to why you're even contacting me, sir. I don't get it. So, I said, well, I said, it's been two months, honey. Why are you, what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I miss you. And, and then, okay, this will get me. He says to me that um, he was praying to the Lord while he was at work that if this girlfriend is not for him, he asked the Lord to remove her. So my thing is to you, sir, why would you even say that and you've already in a relationship with her? Why would you say that? And then why would you say that to me? And then I'm like, well, you know, you need to talk to her. Why are you talking to me? Then why am I talking to you? You know, why am I still allowing you to talk to me? So, um, longer story short, because this, you know, it's, it's, it's really stupid. First of all, I shouldn't have responded and allowed that conversation to go that long. Because when I said that I was out, I should have already, like, really been out. And a man is going to do what you allow him to do to you. And I've allowed this. And, you know, it was flattering that um, you in a relationship. And it's a stupid flatterization that you're in a relationship, but you're still in love with me. And you still feel cool and free enough to contact me when you're in a relationship with somebody else. So what makes you think I want to be in a relationship with you when it's so easy for you to contact somebody that you love 
So if I got in a relationship with you, I wouldn't be able to trust you that you would not contact the other women that you've been talking to. And then I can't even con I can't even trust you to text me back. So, um, so I told him, I said, honey, you're disrespectful to your girlfriend for even contacting me and for even saying that you're in love with me. And and I asked him, I said, so are you still in love with me? And he said, yeah. So I was being petty. <laughs> being petty oh this pettiness yeah I like to be petty like this year I like to be petty so stupid but anyway so um so yeah so you're disrespecting me you're disrespecting her you are not ready to be in a relationship because you you can't even make up your mind of, about who you want to be with and then you can't like this girl is the total opposite of what he told me that he wanted in a woman but I mean he could have been lying because he he's lied before. he's lied I see loopholes and you know he said I'd never lie to you oh ooh, there we go again another lie come on baby just you know get healed and you know you're you're a decent guy so you know when the Lord get finished healing you and taking you through your process you will be a great, decent guy. So, um, and then I had to check me because I was allowing this stupidness to go on. And I just had to finally tell him, like, babe. Of course, I didn't say babe. I just said, I'm not going to say his name. I'll say his name is, uh, let me find, Inquirer. I was like, Inquirer, you are something else, sir. I called him horrible. I called him shady. <laughs> Cause um Yeah, it was pretty stupid. It, it was dumb. So, you know, I ended that and I feel really good. Like I just let that part of me go. Cause sometimes, you know, women, when you're single and a man is showing you interest, sometimes you don't want to let that go. And I had to let that go because it was stupid. And I'm a good woman. Hello. I am an awesomely great woman and if you accept something beneath uh, beneath what you are you're going to get treated beneath in what you are and that's for male and female that's not just for women that's for male and female so um yeah I just wanted to share that I <laughs> I mean it's, it's so much more I can say but this video will be so much longer and um and then, like, at the end of the text in the morning, he texts me, like, well, I'm about to lay down. Okay, so does this mean that you're going to text me back? Like, I don't give a flying fart what you do. And then in the text, he said, well, if you don't want me to contact you, then let me know, and it'll be okay. So I said, yes, I don't want you to contact me. There's no reason for it. And, of course, he kept contacting me. And then I said, I sent them a message. I said, I'm out of the caring business about you um, going through your things. You know, it, it was just it was just so much. But I just had to, like, lay it down in six steps. D do not call me. Do not text me. Do not contact me. There's nothing for us to talk about. I mean, it's, it's done. It's over. And, then, you know, he comes with the same old story. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I won't do it again. I just didn't. I mean, you know me. I probably rushed into this relationship. Um, you know, I just probably just rushed into it. Sir, that sounds like a personal issue. It has nothing to do with me. All to do with you. I don't care. I don't care. So yeah, so that was it, and um, I feel good. I feel good. I had to say peace to the knee. <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, I thank you all for listening to my story. And people don't just accept stuff. And um, listen, to, women, listen to your brothers. And men, if you're not ready to be in a relationship, please don't. Um, had these other women getting interested in you and you spending time with them. Don't be a Noel Jones because I'll be doggone if I even spend 16 months with you and you still don't know what's going on. I'm not going to spend 16 weeks with you and 
you don't know what you want like that. Loretta spent 16 years. Woo! I can't do it. I've done two years. And y you see I'm still single. So, no. But, okay. Um, What else can I say? If you're not ready to be in a relationship, just be friends and keep it at that. Um, don't string nobody along because it could turn out bloody in the end. Um, make sure you love yourself and make sure that before you get into a relationship, you ask God to pull up those big roots in your life. Like if you have communication issues, uh, commitment issues, if you're still childish, if you're petty, <laughs> I'm naming some stuff I had issues with. Um... Make sure your relationship with God is good first. Because if you can't have a good relationship with the Lord, how are you going to have a good relationship here with people? And especially when you're about to get into a relationship looking at it towards marriage and all of that. You're about to live like you're going to be in a covenant relationship with this person. So you have to. It's it's something. You, you really have to be ready for it. So, um. So that's all I'm going to say now. Have a health moment. Take your vitamins. They're good for you. Okay. Um, that's it. Peace.